Whether you're a student pilot planning on one day transitioning to the airlines, a flight instructor, or just a commercial pilot who flies a smaller aircraft, you might never have used an FMS unit before in a jet. And it's something that's completely new when you show up for your first few days at a regional airline. So that's what I'll focus on in this video is showing you how the FMS works, some of the features that we use to conduct our flights every single day. Now keep in mind, our FMS unit is a little bit different than some of the units you'll find in other airplanes. So I'll give you a broad overview of how it works and some of the principles that apply across the board, regardless of which airplane you'll be flying. One of the first things that we do when we get into the airplane is go ahead and power on the avionics, turn on both of our FMSs and check the navigation database to make sure that it hasn't expired and check that the FMS is registering a correct date and time. During pre-flight while configuring the FMS, I'll go ahead and enter our departure airport, our flight number and our arrival airport. You can sort of think of this as linking our FMS units to our systems operational control center at the airline so that data about our specific flight can be transferred back and forth. Before we can push back from the gate, a few things have to happen. I'll go ahead and send for the weather reports from both our departure and arrival airports as a quick reference for runway selection and any passenger announcements. I also need to send our final fuel load to dispatch and the station. The air traffic controlled cleared route is entered into the FMS and then cross filled onto the other pilot's side. And then we'll go ahead and check our waypoints against our EFBs to make sure all of the waypoints and our route looks good. Before the door closes, we have to go ahead and print out our weight and balance closeout and our TPS report, which is used for runway performance and data. And if I need to change our departure runway after the door has closed, I can go ahead and send a message through ACARS requesting a new TPS for a different runway. In this case, I'll send a message requesting a TPS for runway nine right with anti-IS on. Usually around 10 minutes after departure, a fuel progress report is sent through ACARS to our FMS. We use the fuel prog to check our fuel load against fuel checkpoints and waypoints along our route to see if we're ahead or behind on fuel. And we also use it to see if we're ahead or behind schedule with our general flight time. In route, there's a lot that we can do with our FMS. Anything from sending questions to our dispatcher to checking the weather at our arrival airport or alternate airports to get a general sense of conditions on the ground and how the trend is looking for weather conditions. Of course, there's also a full navigation database so we can see how far we are from our waypoints to do fuel planning. It also has the ability to go ahead and calculate fuel for you to see if you're gonna be ahead or behind schedule when you land. There's a ton of features inside the FMS that are really helpful in route. Let's say we're flying a star arrival procedure into a busy airport like Chicago. I can go to our flight plan page and enter the required crossing altitudes for each fix along the star. 
and then I'll go to the VNAV page or vertical navigation page, which gives advisory vertical guidance that gives a required descent rate to meet each of those crossing restrictions. Now keep in mind on the Embraer 145, we don't have auto throttles, so we have to control the descent manually. I'll match my vertical speed with the required descent rate given by the vertical navigation page to meet each of those crossing restrictions. That's a good overview of what I use the FMS for every day I fly. And keep in mind, when you're flying with experienced pilots, ask them how they use the FMS, because even after a year of flying on this airplane, I'm still learning tips and tricks about all of the features that we have on board. 